Huge developments in Tennessee politics today. The Speaker of the Tennessee House announcing plans to step down from that leadership position. Speaker Glenn Cassidy putting out this statement, quote, when I return to town on June 3rd, I will meet with caucus leadership to determine the best date for me to resign as Speaker so that I can facilitate a smooth transition, end quote. The House Republican Caucus meeting yesterday issuing a vote of no confidence in Cassida's leadership. Governor Bill Lee saying he would call a special session if Cassida did not step down. Now you've probably heard about the controversy surrounding Cassida's former chief of staff, Kate Cothran, sending <clears throat> racist and sexist text messages several years ago. Cassida embarrassed to see he had responded to some of those messages with what he described as locker room talk. Well, Representative Susan Lynn telling us today that most in the caucus felt the text messages weren't the primary issue with Cassida. Rather, they took issue with how he ran the House. This shakeup leaves Knoxville State Representative Bill Dunn, currently Speaker Pro Tem, as next in line to lead the House. WATE 6 on your side reporter Blake Stevens speaking with Dunn for tonight's top story. County lawmaker Bill Dunn enjoying a few quiet moments with family as he awaits the day he takes the gavel at Tennessee's Capitol. You know, I ran for Speaker Pro Tem, and so I knew this this day could come. Uh, it was never my dream to be Speaker, but it's my duty. And uh, when I'm acting Speaker, then I need to make decisions to help move Tennessee forward, to help my, my caucus out. And so that's just what I need to be focused on. Dunn saying the controversy surrounding Glenn Cassida, a person he's known for several years, hasn't been easy. But he says stepping down was best for the state. We wish him uh, well in, in whatever his future endeavors are, but it's time for the House of Representatives to get back to the people's business. It's unclear today when Cassida will resign. It's also unclear how long Dunn will be at the helm, or if lawmakers will hold a special session to elect a replacement before for January. Dunn says those conversations are happening right now. So I just want to help uh, with whatever transition it is, keep things stable and calm. Uh, I think a lot, I bring a lot of boredom uh, to the table, which is probably needed right now. While he hasn't said he'd run for Cassidy's seat on a more permanent basis, he hasn't ruled it out. Um, my wife gives me very good advice. She says, just do the next right thing. So instead of looking down, you know, next week or ne next month, I look to today and say, what is the next right thing to do? And as long as I keep doing that, things will be okay. Dunn saying he believes elected representatives have a right to be heard on the House floor no matter what party they're in. That's important to Knoxville lawmaker Gloria Johnson, who you can see in this picture stood for more than half an hour waiting to be called on while debating an abortion bill. I would love to see the next speaker be more fair-minded, more interested in productive debate because the reality is we don't have democracy if every representative doesn't have a voice. And Lieutenant Governor Randy McNally thinks it's time for the state to move on from the controversy and believes Dunn as Speaker will help accomplish that. I think it will be very good for the House because he provides a lot of stability, a lot of experience. Uh, he's got a sterling character. Uh, he's, he's somebody I think the House could be very comfortable with. And Representative Jason Zachary explained last night's meeting where Republicans handed down that vote of no confidence. He says it was not easy. He called it the right thing and said Dunn will serve the state well no matter how long or how short he's in charge. He's forgotten more about the political institution than mo most of us know that are there. And again, he's a man of absolute integrity. He's a leader, and I think he'll do a great job uh, stepping in as our speaker until we determine what our next step is moving forward. And State Representative Jeremy Faison said it was time for Cassidy to go, not just for those text messages, but for, but for what he calls a failure of leadership. He does not believe the House uh, was ran fairly. And guys, he said with Bill Dunn, there would be a steady calm hand in Nashville and mm -hmm. no scandals to watch out for. He does have right. a lot of respect. All right, Blake, yep. thank you so very much. Uh, we are also hearing tonight, everyone, from Governor Bill Lee. We mentioned he offered to call a special legislative session if Cassida did not step down. He was asked today if he's satisfied with Cassida's intention to resign. I felt like he ought to, and, and he has, so um, that's all I can ask for. We will be working with the legislature to see what direction they go. 
Now, Representative Susan Lynn said today that at least three of her colleagues have, have expressed interest in running for the speakership. The exact timing of that choice, though, still is not clear. Of course, we in the, will stay on top of this in the days to come and look at what will happen in this transition process. We will keep you posted each and every step of the way.